So here I have a simple variable x and let's say I want to print its value. What do we do in this example? Simple enough, we just use printf and say value percent d backslash n and then x, right? And then we get 15 on the screen. Now let's say we also want to print the uh, reference, right? The address in memory at which this variable is uh, located. How can we do that? Well, again, just using printf, we can say address, and instead of using percent %d, we can use here percent %p for printing out pointers uh, or pointer addresses to be exact. And how do we get that address? Well, we use the uh, ampersand operator and x, and that will return to us the address at which this variable is located, right? So if I try to run this now, I'm going to get a pretty interesting number, but safe to say it's uh, the memory at which this variable resides in is there. So let's say that instead of uh, a simple variable, we have an array of characters, right? We have an array of 16 characters and that guy has example string in it as the value. So if I try to print the value, what do I do? Well, I have to change this to a percent %s, fair enough. I can say percent %s and then say str, right? That That's fine. Um, let's comment out and see if this if we will get the expected result. And we do indeed, we do, we do get example string. And if I try to print out the address of that um, array, what do I use? Well, I have percent %p here for printing out memory addresses, this is fine, but what do we actually pass as value? What do we need to pass in here? Hmm. Well, we can just we can use the same strategy as with uh, our integer x. We can just say ampersand str. And if we try to run this, you'll notice we'll also get, well, basically the same address as before because we've replaced x with uh, our string now. So it makes sense. Mm, but something's fishy here. Isn't str supposed to be an address already? What does that, what does the address of the address of the array? Because if I, if I'm not gonna use this ampersand here, you'll notice something interesting. We get the same result, exactly the same result. Doesn't mean that um, the address of the array is actually its value? Well, not quite. It's very tricky in the way the addresses work in C. So this str identifier is a bit fishy here. You may have heard the phrase that it decays to a pointer. What does that even mean? Well, in most cases, let's say passing uh, the array to a function or assigning a value to a pointer, and that value is this str. Um, in these cases, str actually decays to a pointer in the sense that instead of being just str in there, the compiler comes along and says, no, -uh, this is actually going to be the address of the first element inside our array. So it did make, make sense, right? Because we have here an array and we can dereference it. We can say str of zero. And what's the type of str of zero? Well, simple enough, that's just a character. Now, if we actually get the address of that character, that single character, well, the type of it is going to be a uh, pointer to a character, and it's going to be actually residing at the beginning of the array. So this makes sense. Whenever you're passing it, you want um, you want a pointer to the beginning of the array, and it just so happens that the address of the first element is the beginning of the array, always. Now, this is in most cases. This is what happened here in the first call, right? We get the value str, str just becomes this thing, right? I can even type it in here and it's going to be the same exact thing and nothing really changes. So if I try to run this, you'll notice this we get example string and this we get the, the, same, the same address. <clears throat> but then what's the address of str mean? This uh, notation. Well, this notation is a bit weird in the sense that you are going to get the same exact result in terms of value 
as just str and address of str of zero, it's going to be exactly the same thing. The right. So if I try to run this, you know, it's not going to get the same result. But uh, in terms of types, you're actually going to get a very weird type, and that is a pointer, a pointer to an array of 16 characters, because we have here 16 characters. So on our own, how can you see that? How can you see that we actually have a pointer to an array of 16 characters? Well, remember pointer arithmetic, when you're trying to add anything to a pointer, you're actually adding that times the size of that, uh, the type that you're pointing to. Well, if this is a pointer to an array of 16 characters, when adding one, we should be adding actually 16 bytes, right? So if I, for example, try to do this here and say, um, str plus one and ampersand str plus one, you'll notice a pretty big difference. I'm also going to print out the initial result, just str, right? You'll notice that the first one, the first one is fine. This is the initial result. The second one is also fine because we only add one byte to that uh, address. It makes sense because str is a pointer to uh, a, ca a character because it decayed already here. Remember, this one got turned into this one. Makes sense. We got this. So when we're trying to add one, we're actually trying to add one times size of character, right? This is, so this str of zero is actually of type char pointer, right? So when you're adding one, you're just adding one times uh, size of char. But when you're adding here one, the ampersand str notation actually returns not just a char pointer, but a char pointer to an array of 16. So when you're dereferencing that, well, you're getting an array of 16 bytes. So you're going to be adding one times size of this whole array, right? And that's what happened here. Notice this is in hexadecimal. So the difference of 10 here in hexadecimal is actually 16, right? So if I change this to, for example, let's say 20, you'll notice the same change in the addresses, right? We added here 14 and what's 14 from hexadecimal into decimal. Well, that's 16 plus four, which is 20. Now this was a bit of an overview over the quirks of referencing an address, right? So just make sure you understand what's going on that, okay, you're going to get the same value, but the type can be different. And when adding to that type, you can actually get discrepancies whenever you're using it. So most cases just use str. Don't try to get the address of that str on its own, unless you're doing this, because this and this are mostly the same. Uh, one more difference I didn't actually uh, talk about is the size of operator. So str doesn't really decay into a pointer uh, when you're using the ampersand and when you're using size of. So if you try to, uh, for example, print out the size of the uh, array, so say size of array, and I'm going to say percent LLU here because it's a 64 int, because it's a 64 bit um, unsigned integer. And I'm going to say size of str. And if you didn't know, you can actually get the size of the whole array. Notice we get here 20. And that's because uh, this is not actually a, it didn't decay to a pointer. We just got the actual size of the whole array. If it were decayed, uh, if, if it were to decay into a pointer, we would actually get something along the lines of this, which would be, guess what? Just eight in my case, right? Because a pointer is uh, eight bytes long in most in most programs these days. So I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.